level out wide. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And the first half is done. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. Spain head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. So we're just settling back into this second half. No changes at the interval from either side. Going through. Courtois gets good distance on it. Back into the middle. Tongan cuts it out. Iniesta with the ball through. He's going after it. Sergio Busquets. Meunier. Lukaku. Could move up a gear here. Looks to slip it through. Well weighted. It's Lukaku! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Crunching tackle. Jordi Alba. Sergio Busquets. Daniel Carvajal. Looking for options. Brings it forward. A real chance to break. Lukaku plays it out to the wing. Crowd calling for him to shoot. Aimed long and direct. And it's Vitolo. Vitzel gets it back. Now it's Lukaku. He's left his man. Oh, flags up. He may have been caught offside, but... Well, Peter, from experience, defenders, I can tell you, hate those runs in behind. Courtois gets it upfield. De Bruyne with the ball through. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. They've played it short. Lukaku. PK knocks it away. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be looking to shoot. Saved only by poor finishing. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Carvajal passes it through. Now the pass. The shot! A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Great leap! Oh, not the best of headers. Yeah, but the two that closed them down merit the praise of a, a job well done. Harvard Hell. Battles to win it back. Carvajal plays it forward. Vitolo has a pop! Tongan goes looking. Jordi Alba does well to read it and intercepts. Aimed long and direct. Iniesta has created one goal already. Belgium have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. Well played, he saw that coming. Now it's Bitzel. Well positioned to make that interception. 
Looks like a good ball through. He's got away. Striding forward, facing goal. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Iniesta clips one through. Aimed wide. And he'd have done well to reach that. Forward it goes. Great ball, and now the shot. And that's been won straight back. And it's Busquets. Mertens. Now it's Lukaku. De Bruyne. Now it's Lukaku. Now the pass. He spotted the run and played him through. He's gone for it. He scores! Belgium are back in business. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Spain opting to make a double change here. Quite a thriller this one's become. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. It's a brilliant interception. Spain merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Done very well to intervene. And now they can launch a counter. Carvajal plays it forward. And it's Diego Costa. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Sergio Ramos tells you he's showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. It's all, and he's there to cut it out. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Get that clear. Spain merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Costa, and he's searching Costa! Same again, same outcome. <laughs> and that's left him on the seat of his pants. Miralas can hoist it clear. Lukaku passes it through. Going through. Now a chance to break. Hazard. Room for a shot. Jordi Alba gets it away. Looks like a good ball Belgium through. Showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Goes wide. He's got options out wide. That'll be a throw in. Isco. And that will be the final act. So nothing between them after all of that. And you can't really argue with the result. Neither manager too unhappy with the outcome. And the fans really well entertained. It's all square in the end. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points. And it ended with the right result, in my opinion. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good...
Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, France against Brazil. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. And already we're underway here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? I'll go for Douglas Costa. This fella really sparks in the opposition's final third. He's a bag of tricks dribbler uh, who can tie defenders in knots and a real entertainer, so I hope he can excite. OK, interesting. And he's cut it out. Played towards the front like Gazette, Really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Looks to slip it through. Going through. Loose. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Keeper's got good distance on that. Aimed long and direct. Marcelo goes looking, passes it through. like a good ball through and now the breakaway he's left his man got a shoots oh so close to what would have been a memorable goal oh that's an excellent try and once he picked it up he headed forward with real intent well the first attempt hasn't quite drawn first blood but they've got a slight edge France pressing with energy in the opening moments of the game. And out to safety. France get it back again. Philippe Coutinho. Sidibe. And it's Griezmann. Lacazette with the ball through. Into the box. He's got away. Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. It's one! Philippe Coutinho. Roberto Firmino. Pogba. Griezmann. Goalkeeper's ball. Forward it goes. Philippe Coutinho. So what's he planning here? Can't get the better of his opposite number. Douglas Costa. Brazil couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. That's Lacazette. And he's made certain that won't get through. João Miranda plays it forward. Good ball. Cuts it out. Dinks one in. Well positioned to make that interception. Steered forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Who's loose, who's getting there? Going through. And the shot! Played out to the right. Oh, that's a waste. Going back to the keeper. Marcelo. Pogba. This is promising. 
Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. And it's Mondi. Goes wide. Marquinhos does well there. Alert. Pinged forward. Baran tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, good interception. Aimed long and direct. Mondi tries a through ball. Up for a throw. Conte. Now it's Griezmann. Philippe Coutinho. He's off on a marauding run. Moran plays it forward. Griezmann looking to get on the end of this. Titi gets into the right position to intercept. Now the pass. Big chance! Douglas Costa tries to dink it in. And Titi. Sidibe. He's left his man. Griezmann tries to stroke it through. Tries a through ball. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Jao Miranda goes looking. Looks like a good ball through. Griezmann. That'll be a throw in. That's a poor throw that. Picked off with relative ease. Intervention was very necessary. And the first 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. So we're already into the second period. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. And it's Firmino. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Coutinho with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. He's got away. Well played, he saw that coming. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Mondi. Titi tries to get it forward quickly. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Pogba. Dashing forward at pace. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Casemiro. Very well to intervene. Lacazette. Titi looking to penetrate opposition lines. Douglas Costa. And it's been taken straight back. Forward it goes. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Good interception. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Like I said, spreads it towards the left. Gets into some space. Going through. Promising cross. 
Philippe Coutinho. Brazil have a free kick. That's not going to make it. And it's Firmino. Pressure is relentless, it's a very, very high press. Yeah, because it's all about winning the ball back at the earliest opportunity, a trigger by one player for the others to follow, and designed to force opposition mistakes. Crunching tackle. Aimed low and direct, looking to break out here. He's got away, and the foot has a hit! A potential goal of the season contender. If only. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. Massive leap! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Brazil making two changes as we speak. Conte. Played in deep. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. William plays it forward. Loris comes out and deals with it. Brazil have it back and they can go again. Griezmann passes it through, and through to the goalkeeper. He's gone for it! He has done it! Unbelievable. That's wonderfully done. Crisp hit, true finish. Pogba really showed his coolness, Peter, by not getting flustered on, on such a tough skill. And for me, it was controlled perfection. France, draw first blood here. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good purpose and urgency, and they can get right back into this. Brazil are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a quest. Towering header! Oh, not the best of headers. That is a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted. Tries lifting it over. Aimed low and direct. Oh, it's Lacazette. Looks to slip it through. Timely intervention. Baran tries to get it forward quickly. He'll have a dip! What about it? And this is getting better and better. And looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. France get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Got it back as soon as they gave it away. Now it's Lacazette. Now the pass. Griezmann. 
and it's Sidibe. Lacazette, Lacazette shoots! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. And the weighted pass. Coutinho He's on a run down the left wing. It's a loose ball. Goes down, but nothing given. Lacazette plays it out to the flank. Griezmann could try cutting inside here. Well read, he sorted that out. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. Casemiro. William. Casemiro. Neymar. Titi proves too strong there. Tries a through ball. Coutinho. The clearance now. Can they make something of it? Looks like a good ball through. Like I said, he's flagged offside. And it's William. Casemiro. TT cuts it out. TT goes looking. The Lacazette. Out to the left it goes. He's left his man. How about it? They are rampant. Surely now, beyond all doubt. That really was a thing of beauty. Curled in effortlessly. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. France take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Moran with the ball through. Griezmann is desperately calling for it out wide. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Pogba. Now they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Well played, he saw that coming. Yeah, he's fouled him there. So that's it. It is all over. France have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? France kept such a, a high defensive line and squeezed the game with, with really good pressure on the ball, and it made the big difference. It helped them to control things to their liking, and they look comfortable in it for me. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.
Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Argentina against Brazil. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. And as you can see, we've already started here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Angel Di Maria. He's gone for it! He's delivered all right! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Brazil trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Looks like a good ball through. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And the through ball is intercepted. Perez with the ball through. Marquinhos with a definite foul there. And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Real chance! Thiago Silva goes looking. Forward. What does he try from here? He's left his man. Neymar. He'll have a dip! And he nearly went all the way. He's the one player you want on the ball running at defences. And that's precisely why. Been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Great strength, too strong for his opponent, and it's Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa is making a foray down the right, and out it comes again. Fernandinho goes through the middle. Fernandinho and the shot. No mistake. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother where you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. It's a promising run he's making on the right. He's done well to tidy up the situation. Paulinho, Neymar, tries a through ball. Messi. Goes for goal! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. That was created because of... Good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Higuain gets flagged offside. And it's Aguero. Aguero passes it through. Going through! Now the pass, Aguero, it is a corner. Higuain shoots! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage.
Strong punch. Delivers a cross. Douglas Costa. He's off on a marauding run. Passes it through. Done very well to intervene. Keeper's got good distance on that. Thiago Silva gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Neymar. Douglas Costa. Big chance here. Philippe Coutinho. Neymar. Shoots! It's anyone's ball. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Forward it goes. He's got away. It's one. He's on to it, and it's in. And the game is well and truly turned on its head. He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Brazil go into the lead. He's gone for it. A oh, great save. Real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Towering header! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Firmino really has shown an example of why indecision is fatal. Messi. Showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Paulinho with the ball through. Otamendi does well to read it and intercepts. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Brazil seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. And it's Neymar. Otamendi battles to win it back. Higuain plays it out to the flank. Di Maria. Now the cross. Can he score? Oh, my word, my word, that is fantastic! About as smooth as it gets. Unbelievable. They've done it again. It is incredible. Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. This is quite a battle. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang. Big chance! Goal! Argentina! And the comeback is complete! One sweeping move, executed with deadly efficiency. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. Argentina take the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Coutinho, good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Neymar, into the channel, aimed in towards the set, shapes the shoots! Oh, the ball's come loose! Tries to get it forward quickly. Douglas Costa! Now the counter, looks like a good ball through. Aguero. Thiago Silva. Defense has got rid of that. And the weighted pass. A oh, great ball! Argentina get it back again. A 
It's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. And Messi! Good effort, and it is right on half time. The team still separated by one goal, but it should be very different. So we reach the halfway point. Oh, what a half. It's, it's been pulsating and totally absorbing. We're actually headed for a, a potential classic if this carries on. This is insanely good. So what a half. So many talking points, so many goals, so much drama. It's 3-2. Already up and running for the second half. No changes at the interval from either side. That's not going to make it. And it's Marcelo. Looks to slip it through. Paulinho. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Messi. Referee has his flag raised for offside. Well, he now knows that he has to lock in the timing. Success and failure depends on it. Oh, well intercepted. Really, that could spell trouble. And that's a goal kick. And it's Aguero. Now it's Iguain. Oh, he's broke. He's had a shot! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Marquinhos boots it to safety. Whistle's gone, that for offside? Yes, it is. I thought he might just get the benefit of any doubt then. Douglas Costa, Danny Alves, tries a through ball, Firmino looking to get on the end of this. So who's he picking out? Hit into the middle, he's there to get rid, flings in across. And he heaves it forward. And it's Coutinho. He's having a look round. Aimed long and direct. Fernandinho. Now it's Paulinho. Bilia. Now the pass. Di Maria looking to get on the end of this. He's left his man. Di Maria. In towards the middle, and he just whacks it away. Perez passes it through. Di Maria is flagged offside. Well, if the defence of pushing up is accompanied with the right pressing, offsides are, are going to be commonplace. Coaxed out to the wing. Now it's Iguain going through. Iguain's cross. Looking to shoot. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Lionel Messi. And there's the goal they've been looking for. Messi did well there. He was on to it in a trice. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. Argentina take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. Higuain. Aguero looks to dink one in. Di Maria! With a beautifully timed run. Brazil 
They've made their intentions clear by leaving men up front. Looking to play on the break? Yeah, it's obvious that they're prepared to take a, a risk or two. Ball is over the line. He's left his man. Referee has just said play on. And now the breakaway. Looks like a good ball through. Now here's the through ball. Up to meet it! Sticks it away! Oh, I think it's been called offside. Yes, it has. His delight very short-lived. The referee's assistant did have his flag up. It might have been close, but it was correct. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Rojo gets it back. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Paulinho, Philippe Coutinho, Coutinho, Di Maria delivering the goods as expected. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. Now it's Higuain, and it's Messi. Messi, now it's Higuain. Messi is good for it! And more, and more, and more! And they are pulling clear here! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch, and De goes for goal! He scores! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate, and we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. So is this the start of a comeback? Played back in. And Messi! And that would have been some goal. Messi can really show some outlandish skills, which is always welcome and Obviously refreshing. Gets up to head it! Harmlessly behind. <laughs> Messi positions himself well and cuts it out. Firmino, he's away! Firmino! Oh, should have put that away. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Paulinho with the ball through. He's played him through. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. He's got away. That intervention was very necessary. Forward it goes. Could move up a gear here. Going through. He's through and all alone! Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Tries a through. Shoots! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Massive leap! Fantastic! That is classic Cunaguero! A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch.
Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Argentina blast themselves into a three-goal lead. Back to the keeper and go again. Clears it out of harm's way. And it's Firmino. Oh, good interception. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Now it's Neymar. Dinks one in. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. And that is that. Argentina, winners after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind, made it happen and won. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Argentina won thanks to a, a disciplined game plan. Homework provided the groundwork and it exploited an obvious central weakness. Well, thanks to Jim alongside me and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.